Now, as I just explained with the circle, I said I was going to do it above the gas. Now, the reason why I'm doing it above the gas is because I'm silly and I'm going to probably die doing it, but it's a bit of fun. But what I have done is I've gone around and marked out the outer edge of roughly where the gas is, which sort of gives me an idea of where the center of the circle needs to be. Another thing I've done is that I do not have anything in my inventory except the medical inhalers and the things that I need to make the circle. So if I fall down and die here, there's not headaches trying to get my death crate back. With that in mind, this is roughly where I think the center of the circle will be above this rock. So when you make circles, and you will see other videos about making circles as well, it's all about placing an object down and standing on that object and uh, jumping up and creating foundations and rotating and all that sort of stuff. Now, I'm going to use a specific order of objects to get a specific height. And the reason for that has to do with trying to align with the foundations, the existing foundations. We will not be able to get the exact foundation alignment that the game provides, but we'll get very close. And one thing in particular that I will be doing that uh, is pretty key in getting that really accurate foundation alignment is that I use a, a Chroma Razor Orb. And with that, you can set up macros. And the macros I've got set up are so I can move forward in very small micro increments. So when I, on my keyboard, when I do W like this and S and A and D, they move forward and left and right in, in, in big jumps. And you can sort of tap it enough to just get a little bit, but you can never get an accurate representation. With the macro, I can set it to do very small, minute adjustments like that, which is going to help with the uh, me getting alignment, as you'll see. So that, that that's another thing that I'm using. It's it's a way of getting a real finite position on where things are going to align up and it will help as I go. So with that in mind, uh, we're going to start off with, I'm going to come out a bit here and get around. Now, I want the, uh, the center foundation to be here. So I'm going to use, I'm going to put two two meter foundations down here and I'm going to get rid of this top two meter foundation and then I'm going to get rid of these and I may take a little bit of damage here from the gas I'm, I'm like right on the borderline edge now while I'm looking at sort of the center of the foundation I'm going to drop down some leaves ingots reinforced plate and iron plate now that when you look at it, kind of isn't on center. It's not entirely important, but it's it'll be a bit easier for you if you can get it a bit center. So I'll just do that again. Okay, that's a bit better. Then we stand on top of this. Um, and let's get this organized. Then what we do is, now that we're standing on top of this, we delete this foundation under us, and we delete this one, and we're gonna, we're gonna delete this one as well. So the key of what's going on right now is, with foundations, they don't interlock, they don't snap to anything when you're up here. So the point is, we'll build a, a set of foundations and then rotate in it, and keep doing this and that builds this perimeter that we want um, but how do you know how do you get it so it lines up nicely that's the first step I'm going to demonstrate here now I'm going to use a two meter foundation uh, to create the foundation I'm on right now and I want to make a really clear distinction I don't have my Blade Runners on, or if you're a later stage of the game, you have a jetpack. I don't have them on. It's just me uh, without anything. So with the two meter foundation, you make sure it's pointing the direction of the foundation that you want to line up to. And looking down at your feet, 
You just jump in the air, press click with your left mouse button and you've created the first foundation. Now at this point, take your hand away from WASD because this is going to be a big thing. Once you get, you can turn around and all that stuff, that's no worries, but you cannot move. And I'm going to show you why. So if we place the foundation across at us and come one more, you can see as I'm snapping to the one over, as my cursor points on the other foundation, it places where the foundation is going to be. Now I'm going to turn off my overlays here so you can see everything that's happening. In the bottom left corner, and you can see the two foundations are overlapping. The, the, the one that's going to, the next one's going to lay is, is too close towards me. So they're not lining up. And it may be a little bit left or right. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to delete this foundation. Um, I am going to, uh, while I'm still standing on this foundation, I am going to use the forward button uh, on my macros I was talking about to get a little bit uh, let me think no I need to go backwards I needed to go backwards to get away a bit once I do that I delete the foundation I'm still on this um, sh the, this, this stack of um, resources and then I'm going to do the um, and I'm going to die damn so that wasn't very good and that's all part of having fun with this. So let's go back up and we'll uh, get that working again. So if I uh, do this, uh, I should, there we go. All right, so we're going to have to do that again because I don't know where I am. But same thing, just jump up, put the foundation down, bring this one towards us. So I need to go back a little bit and to the right. Uh, yeah, so. So if I go back a little bit and to the right, then... I delete the foundation. I create my foundation. I jump. Now that's looking better. Uh, you can see the face-to-face -face alignment seems good. I looks like I need to go to the right a bit more. So we'll just do that. I can leave this one in front of me here. Uh, but So I'm going to go to the right. I think there. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to use the copy against that one. Down, jump. And when I'm looking at that one there, that looks pretty spot on. Okay, so with that in mind, at this point now, do not touch W, A, S, or D. And this is where I will be going very slowly. Um, I'm going to delete, for the circle to be 100% accurate, I'm going to delete what I see in front of me. And I'm only going to rely on the foundations that I have. And I want to build out usually five. And I can move with the mouse. That's okay. I just can't touch my feet. I can't actually physically move my body with WAS and D. So it's, it's, it's a bit finicky sometimes to get this properly. And maybe I'm too... F oh, that's as... There we go. Okay. 
once you've done that uh, and you've created all those out, what you do is you have to delete everything except the furthest one. Now, I may have done one. What have I got there? One, two, three, four. So I need one more out this way. So you leave the furthest one. So you use the, the highlight tools useful where you just hold control. Okay, now, and you can just use your copy key again, look down and rotate one scroll click so your foundation's turned. And then you just look down, jump, create the next one. And this is the essence of a circle. And as you can see, they are overlapping over in the distance and they are at the same height. Now I need to just re keep repeating this process over and over and over again. Um, I have intentionally, my hand is not where it normally is. My left hand that normally is where I move, do my movement is not where it normally is. So I don't accidentally bump um, my position because you'd have to rework your position out again and it's a lot of frustrating stuff. Um, Okay, that's it. Uh, we have a working circle. Um, I can now move now because I've done the full perimeter. Uh, over here, it looks like I made a mistake. I kind of did and I kind of didn't. I went too far with the first one here. So with that, all you have to do is to, is to build back in and now it's back this way. And now I can get rid of these. Now this is the key part of circles is don't delete unless you have something that you can build back and forth. Because once you delete one of these, uh, the only way to get it back is to build from a direct opposite direction all the way across um, or have one that's already there. Now, um, I'm gonna have one quick break and then we'll move on to the next step.